Today we're going to look at uh, the Indices Health Contribution Implement Implementation Act uh, that has been uh, going on. So previously, before 2023, uh, in 2022 when we started this, we were being con we were contributing 200 Kenya shillings as mandatory contribution for all employees, and that was a mandate for the employer to ensure that. But with the new Act uh, 2013 of the of NSSF. Uh, the implementation of the schedule has been going on yearly. Now, we started in 2023, and there was a percentage uh, to be charged for lower limit and upper limit that was going to affect the employee income. That is, your disposable income was going to be affected. Now, the implementation is ongoing, and in February 2025, we're going to see another uh, implementation, uh, lower limit going up and upper limit going up. But before we do that, can we, uh, let's go through 2023 first. How is this, how is this rollout uh, being implemented? So in 2023, the introduction of Tire 1 and Tire 2. So Tire 2, the lower limit was 6,000 Kenya shillings, and the upper limit was, the, was 18,000. And uh, for you to know how to calculate that, you have to find the difference between the upper limit and the lower limit and you charge 6% of that. So in this presentation, in 2023, the tire one, as you can see, was 6% of 6,000. That, that, that was the lower limit to give us 360 shillings. Now, the tire two calculation, you have to calculate 6% uh, of the upper limit, which is 18,000 minus 6,000. That is 6% 6 of 12,000 to give you 720 and that uh, was uh, 1080 for the employee remember the employee the employer will match the same so uh, uh, on monthly basis uh, the employer will submit uh, both the employee contribution of 1080 and the employer contribution of 1080 to give us 2160 now in 2024 last year the Lower limit increased to 7,000, increased by 1,000 Kenya shillings, and the upper limit increased from 18,000 to 36. That means it doubled. Now, the same uh, calculation is being done here on the formula itself. So, 6% of 7,000, that is a lower limit, and 6% of the difference between the upper limit of 36,000 and lower limit of 7,000. That is that 6,000 minus 7,000, the lower limit to give you 29,000. That is 6% 6 of 29,000 to give you 1740. So that is last year, which was the second year of the implementation of NSSF Act 2013. And that was uh, a total of 2,160. And this is the contribution from the employee. Remember, the employer again will match the same. So the total amount that the employer will will submit to NSSF is uh, 2,160 multiplied by 2 to give us 4,320. Now, this year, 2025, this is uh, February. This is when we are going to start the third year of implementation of the NSSF Act 2013. So in 2025, Tire 1, uh, we'll have to calculate 6% of 8,000. Remember, in 2024, the lower limit was 7,000. And in 2024, the upper limit was 36,000. Here, the lower limit has increased by 1,000 from 7,000 to 8,000. And the upper limit has doubled from 36,000 to 72,000. So we're going to calculate that. And actually, the 72,000 is, is actually the ceiling. Uh, that is the upper limit, the ceiling. So the 6% of 8,000 to give us 480, and that, was, that means it has increased from last year, uh, from 2023, from 360 to 420 to now 480. Now the lower limit, uh, the lower limit is basically 6% 6 of 64,000. That is the 72,000 minus 8,000, the lower limit, to give us 3,840 shillings. So the total uh, amount that the employee will be uh, deducted is 4,020 and the employer will match the same. Uh, so the employer will contribute 8,640 shillings. Now in 2026, just to prepare you for next year, 
How is this going to affect you? The lower limit will increase again by 1,000 shillings. That is from 8,000 to 9,000. So you'll have to calculate 6% of 9,000 to, to give us 540. And the lower limit to increase to 108,000. And uh, the difference is 99,000 between the upper limit and lower limit. 6% uh, of 99,000, 5,940. So and the employee will be deducted 6480 and this is the employee again so the employer will match the same so let's look at the table so let's focus on 2025 for now because that is where we are at so this year this is how you are supposed to calculate and remit the contribution from the employee and the employer uh, we look at this chart and see how is that affecting salaries uh, ranging from I just do an, an analysis ranging from 15,000 people earning 15,000 Kenyan shillings uh, to a million. So when we talk about 15,000, how is tier one looking? So of course, 6% of 6,000 and in tier two, 6% of the, the, the total salary of 15,000 minus the lower limit of, uh, uh, minus the lower limit to give us the lower, of course, the lower limit here is 8,000, so that is 15,000 minus 8,000, and now you have to calculate 6% of that to give you 420. So the total contribution from uh, tier 1, tier 2 from the employee is 900. The employee will match the same, and uh, the total uh, that will be remitted is 1,800. The same to 20,000, you have to calculate 6% of 8,000 for the tier 1. And 6% uh, of the difference of 20,000 minus 8,000 lower limit to give you 720. So the employee will be deducted 1,200 and the employee will match the same. So we'll remit 2,400. For 30,000, someone earning a salary of 30,000, you have to calculate the lower limit by calculating 6% of 8,000 to give you 480. And as you can see, the lower limit applies to everyone earning between 15,000 to 1 million. That basically means 6% of 8,000 to be for 80, going down from the, uh, from the example we had using for the salary scale, 15,000 to a million, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50, and going down, as you can see. So what different, what changes is basically that tier uh, 2, because that is where you have to, you have to take the total salary to less the, the, the lower limit. Now, this is where the game changes from 80,000. Uh, from uh, 70,000 as well, you still calculate 6% of 70,000 minus 8,000 to give you that 720. Uh, that means uh, you had the uh, 2 to give you 4,200. The employee will match the same, that is 2,400. Now, when you come here uh, to 80,000, as you can see, uh, things have changed. Why? Because the ceiling is 72,000. Remember the upper limit from uh, the, the 2024 one was uh, 36,000, but now the upper limit has gone to 72,000. And everyone, anyone earning more than 72,000, uh, is you have to contribute 3840. So this is where the game changes uh, going downwards. That's what you can see for people earning more than 72,000 Kenya shillings. So basically, uh, the, the the pay slip is continuing will continue to thin to be thinner and the disposable income will continue to go down for the people having uh, more than that. So that is just a highlight of how the NSSF will change going forward. Uh, please subscribe and like because we'll be looking at how do we upload this on the NSSF portal to learn more about this. Like and share uh, so that can help someone else. God bless and uh, thank you very much.